Okay, so on Tuesday we talked about, for you, those of y'all that were there and for those of y'all that were not, we talked about um, this drink that I love to make in the summertime. It's called Agua Fresca. It's basically fruit and water with a little bit of sweetener. I mean, it's about as easy a thing as you can do. But for Janet and maybe others, I'm making this video so you can see how easy it is because... I don't know if she totally believes me when I say that it's easy. So, I just made a batch. Um, and this is pineapple basil. Mmm, yummy. But now, I'm going to make some mango strawberry guava. Because, basically, that's what I have. Um, I have this mango that I chopped up earlier for that other video. And then I've got some strawberries and some guava. Um, speaking of guava, if you just want your kitchen to smell good, and you don't even care about eating it, then you can just go get some guava at Horrocks or at Mediterranean Island. I don't know who else carries it. Honestly, those are the only two places that I've seen it. Mm, maybe a really big mire, I don't know. Anyway, get yourself some guava and let them ripen up on your counter. And oh my goodness, it smells amazing. You want them to be nicely ripe. I mean, so they're going to start looking ugly, um, but they'll they'll soften up a little bit. I'm going to show you what they look like on the inside too. Knock off these little edges a little bit. This one's probably not quite ripe enough, but blended it'll be okay so it looks like they have pink guava too but these are not these are not pink they'll still be good also oh my gosh okay i got this so long ago and you know how they have those as seen on tv things and timothy likes to um roll his eyes at what he calls my uni taskers um, and this is one of them, but I, I love my doodads. This is called the Mushroom Express. I got this like on some markdown at, I don't know, Walgreens or something for a couple of bucks a long time ago. But if you ever see one of these in a garage, they'll get them because they're really fun. Um, but I tell them that they are not a unitasker, they're a tritasker because you can, um, use them not only for mushrooms and they're super great for um cutting up a whole bunch of mushrooms because just bam bam oh bam 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 but also strawberries and also hard-boiled eggs um oh i should have said that this is not part of the raw cleanse but it's summer and it's raw fruit and it's good and healthy so there you have it i mean look at this just here let me see if i can you can see it Sliced strawberries. Now, you don't really need to slice them for this, but I just wanted to show you my fun. Here, I'll show you on this too so you can see it. My fun mushroom express because look at that. Sliced strawberries. Bam a lamb a ding dong. Um, okay, you don't need that for this though. <laughs> you just throw them in a hole. Um, also, you do not need a high-speed blender. I do have a blend tech, but that is not required. Um, a regular blender will do just fine with this because there's so much water in it. You don't have any trouble getting it to move. I mean, you might have to blend it a little bit longer. I don't know. So, this is a big blender. Um, so, if you have a small, I mean, was this like 96 ounces or something like that? If you have a smaller blender, obviously, you'll use less fruit. Now, of course, you can vary it however you want to. If you want it to be more fruit and less water, you can. It'll just be more like a fruit juice. If you want it to just be sort of mostly water with the essence of fruit, you can do that too. For me, I'd say that a ratio of like anywhere from 15 to 25% fruit is okay. I mean, obviously, 25% is going to be uh, airing more on the side of juicier tasting and the 15% is going to be more like the flavored water um, I probably do something more like a 20% um, Again, I, I totally eyeball it, 
what I do is I just put in the fruit that I have and then I add a little bit of water just to um, just so that I can move it around in the blender and I blend that up first okay hang on this is gonna be loud so I'm not gonna let y'all hear this okay so it's blended I just blended it till it's totally smooth totally smooth um, and that's what you want to do it's now like you know a puree but then you're gonna add more water mmm so at this point again I, I eyeball it and I've made these enough that I just sort of know what I want it to be but you don't yet so you probably just want to add a little bit of water and then taste it and add a little bit more you know blend and taste until until it's what you want this I might need actually a little bit more. I'm trying to get the sides cleaned off. Because um, the guava does um, thicken it up. I'm probably going to need a little bit more water. Um, oh, also, what was I going to show you? I put it away. Um, I add a little bit of salt. Just a, a skosh of salt. And, oh, there's my armpit. And, here it is. And some agave. You can use honey or stevia. I'm not a fan of the flavor of stevia. I have stevia. I, I tend to mix it. Um, but you could use stevia if stevia does not bother you. Um, but I use agave because it blends better with cold drinks. Um, but you can use honey. You're just going to want to blend it really, really well. So just, you know, drizzle of agave. It, you can not use agave. You can. Um, if you want it to be a little more ju juice drink like, um, add a little bit of agave. If not, it's okay. Um, and then just a pinch of salt. Salt just lifts that flavor a little bit. Um, I use, but you're also getting minerals. See, you're getting minerals when you add salt. Because um, I use real salt or Himalayan pink salt, which, okay. Himalayan pink salt is usually, especially at the health food store, is redonkulous price. Um, Costco has it whole in this grinder, in this huge, um, look, look at this, it's huge, it's 13 ounces, I mean that's close to a pound, you can just curl, do your curls with your Himalayan salt. And it's got a little grinder thing here on the top. $3.99, $3.99. If you need me to get you some super cheap Himalayan pink salt at Costco, let me know. $3.99. I'm almost sure it's $3.99. Really close to that. I'll have to double check that, I guess, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it's 3 dollars which is cheap. And let's see, what else? Oh, I need more water, too. Hang on. Let me add more water. So, as I said, um, just add more water, um, sweetener, and salt, a little salt, just to lift up the flavors a little bit. Um, you can go ahead, if you want to drink it, like, right away, you can go ahead and add ice to it as well um, to, to chill it up while you're blending it. Um, and as I said before, the guava will um, make it a thicker texture. I mean, it's still really good. It's just not going to be that light watery. It'll be just teensy bit thicker. Mango does the same thing. Um, both of those will thicken it up. I'm going to blend it. Come on now. Alright. So, I'll blend it up. This one is a little bit a little bit waterier than I did it just to thin it out. Um, I should mention if you do use guava let me taste it. Just Mm, that's nice. That's nice. It's really nice. It's, these are so good cold. I mean, you want them cold, cold, cold. Um, the guava does have tiny little seeds in them, which are totally, I mean, suitable for eating. It's just, but they do have a little bit of kind of graininess. If you blend it for a long time, you will blend up the seeds more and they won't, you won't taste them. You can also strain this out through a really fine mesh strainer um, if you want to catch some of those seeds, if those are bothersome to you, if you do wind up using guava. If you don't use guava, then it's not an issue. Um, other things that are great. Um... Pineapple, pineapple cucumber, like I made pineapple basil. 
Um, herbs and fruit are so good. Did I already say that? Herbs and fruit are so good. Um, they're wonderful in lemonade. Um, basil lemonade is fantastic. Lavender lemonade, rosemary lemonade. Um, Coral Life Eatery, which just opened in Granville, is super yummy. It's yummy. It's healthy. Um, it is not very expensive. So, the trifecta is what we're saying. And they have a cucumber basil lemonade. They got a bunch of lemonades. They're fresh squeezed. They're yummy. I mean, you can make that business at home. But if you're, if you're out eating anyway, you might as well have yummy lemonade to drink. And, um, so again, herbs go really well with fruity, summery things, including, but not limited to, pineapple with basil in an Iowa fresca. Um, but you don't have to do that. Um, so I think that's it. You just blend some fruit of your choice. Again, um, waterier things, um, like, uh, prickly pear, strawberries, um, Mango, what else? Um, melon, oh my gosh, melon, 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 melon. Honeydew, honeydew makes such yummy, yummy awa fresca. Um, watermelon is really fantastic too. Um, cantaloupe too. I mean, if you like cantaloupe, it will sort of be stronger tasting. Um, I think just like to drink cantaloupe is a sort of a different experience than eating it like flavor wise. So if you're not a huge cantaloupe lover, I wouldn't suggest thinking that it's going to sort of dilute the flavor. It doesn't. For some strange reason, it almost strengthens it. Don't ask me why. Um, so there you have it. I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you, darn it. What was I going to tell you? Crud. I don't know. Put it in a bottle. Chill it up, serve it over ice, be excited. Oh, cucumber. Cucumber makes a real, is nice with pineapple too. Um, I mean, you could do cucumber with other things. I just always do it with pineapple because pineapple and cucumber are like meant to be together. Like they are a match made in heaven. Okay, that's it. Janet, see how easy this is? Fruit and water in a blender. Blend it up with some salt and some agave or whatever sweetener you want to use. I mean, you can use sugar. I mean, you can or sugar syrup. Just, you know, I don't. Agave. And they also have that at Aldi. Organic agave. At Aldi. I don't know. I can't remember how much it is, but it's a pretty darn good price. That's it. The end.